Let's get into my instant reaction from the new college football playoff committee's top 25 after their second week doing this. Let's start with the two top spots, Ohio State and Georgia. Georgia every week keeps closing the gap with Ohio State based on resume, plus how they've looked in the last four weeks looks like the number one Georgia team. Now, Ohio State's strength of resume goes down just a little bit since Notre Dame continues to lose and is now 7-3. However, I understand why you would have Ohio State at number one. My real issue, though, lies with Michigan, Florida State, and Washington. If you are the college football playoff committee and you say that you're going to rank Ohio State number one, and that's why Georgia's number two, how can you say that Michigan should be three when Florida State and Washington clearly have a better resume? Don't get me wrong. I've been singing Michigan's praises all season long. They look dominant. They do look like the number one team if you don't look at resume. I'm just saying, how can you make a resume argument for Ohio State when you can't make the same argument for Florida State or Washington being ahead of Michigan? Now, some other rapid quick thoughts. Completely agree with Oregon being number six for Texas and Alabama. I'm just going to throw something out there. Last week, we all said it was okay for the committee to put Texas above Oklahoma even though that Oklahoma beat Texas because they have a similar body of work. Yet when Alabama has a more impressive resume so far than Texas and a similar body of work, I think you can make the argument that Alabama should be ranked ahead of Texas. Would I personally do it? Probably not. I'm just saying that possibility exists. But if you guys missed it, I had a watch party for the unveiling of the top 25, so make sure to not miss that in the future.